Lanny, can you hear us okay? Yeah. What it seemed like your command was a little bit off tonight. What do you think was the cause of that? And how, what kind of position did that put you in trying to pitch with runners uh, on base a lot this tonight? Well, um, yeah, you said it, man. The two seam, uh, it was really running out of control so much as I had no idea, you know, where it was going. I would start where I needed it and then it would just run out of control, you know, especially to lefties, you know, wanting to hit the outside corner and it would just run all the way off, you know, and good pitches, but, you know, um, you know, when they're, when they're moving that much, you know, they just kind of take you and know when you hit or miss, they just kind of, you know, you get behind and counts and then, you know, they make you pay for it. And that's what they did. Uh, credit to them for that. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, the goal is to, as a starting pitcher is to keep your team in the game. Um, you know, you could have easily folded, you know, they're giving up one or two. Um, you could easily fold, it, but you no, know, you keep putting up zeros, you keep your team in the game, give us a chance to win. Um, you know, and that's what I did. And unfortunately we couldn't pull it out, but, you know, that's, that's, that's how small, you know, these things are. And, um, you know, it, it's, it's that small, the simple things, the, the little things, the walks, you know, pass balls, the, you know, just, just the little, the very little things have it contributed to that one, you know, and uh, as a team, we have to be better, not just me, not just any certain player as a team, we have to be better. So. Was that kind of the message maybe from Coach Maneri just now? I mean, this is something that's kind of happened in a few games where those little things are coming back to get y'all. Is that sort of what he was talking about just now or was it something else? Yeah, well, I mean, mostly that was, uh, you know, it's one game. We used to have two more here. You know, we can dwell on what happened tonight or we can go out, and, you know, and, and the goal is to win the next two, you know. So, uh, you know, that, that's really what the message was, was, you know, get some sleep, get some rest, um, you know, recover from today and, and go in tomorrow with a positive attitude. We got Jaden Hill going tomorrow, you know, so – um, and he's our guy, you know, so we're, uh, we're going to all rally around him and then, you know, try and pull out a W for us. Landon, was, I mean, was there any, any nerves tonight in being a Friday night starter? Or was it just another game to you, basically? Or were there any nerves? No, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, no, there's none of that matters to me. You know, the goal doesn't change. You go out, uh, you do your job as a starting pitcher, whether it's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or any other day of the week, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, you go out, you know, jobs are starting pitchers to go out and give your team a chance to win, you know, and then, you know, the, uh, although it wasn't, um, you know, the cleanest game, you know, we, st we still had a chance, you know, there to, uh, you know, we left a couple runners on base, uh, just things like that, you know, so the little things, again, it comes down to the little things, you know, so. All right, guys, we're going to let Landon go. We're going to bring up uh, Gavin Dugas. Questions for Gavin? Gavin, um, Landon just kind of touched on it. You know, a lot of it isn't pitching problems. It's simple mistakes that you guys keep repeating and um, kind of just not playing, not playing great baseball. You know, I mean, uh, at this point, do you, do you feel y'all should be further along than you are right now? Uh, I think we're a very young team. Uh, I think that comes being a young team. But I also think we're a very good team. Uh, I think once we get a little bit more, um, of this and us, we're not going to like it anymore. We're going to come out and we'll start doing what we need to do and doing what we're capable of doing. And uh, I expect us to do that tomorrow. Gavin, was there anything in particular that Chad Dallas was doing to keep all off balance and kind of baffled all night? Throwing a lot of strikes, you know. I did my cap to him. He, he did what he needed to do to win today. That's all I got to say for it. Yeah, Gavin, on your homer, did you make up your mind as to – I mean, first pitch, I like this. I'm going with it. Um, I like to be very aggressive. Um, just so happened that was a pitch that I, I saw very well, um, and I was able to put a good swing on it. But obviously, he didn't make very many mistakes all night. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gavin, you know, this is now three times in four SEC games where you guys have kind of struggled to get the bats going. I mean, is what, what's the mood, I guess, with the offensive players right now after kind of another, you know, one where you guys just couldn't get much going? I'll tell you one thing. Uh, we're not going to be down from this. Um, we're going to come back tomorrow. We're going to be better. Um, we're going to play better, and we're going to execute what we need to do. Um, there's no there's no ha hanging heads. Uh, there's a lot of anger in a good way, um, and we're going to use it tomorrow. We're going to use it for the rest of the year. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks. All right, guys. So I'll coach up next, and then we'll be we'll wrap it up.
blanket statement. Or yeah, you, just, go ahead. you guys go ahead and start with questions. Yeah, Paul, you thought you'd have a really good pitcher tonight, a Friday night pitcher, and it just uh, y'all couldn't get anything going. Uh, just uh, just your thoughts on, on the way Dallas pitched and, and y'all tonight at the plate. Well, he had a good slider. You know, he threw an awful lot of them, too. You know, Gavin ambushed a fastball the first time he was up and hit that one out. You know, we, we've been working so hard this week with um, with Cade Beloso, and he's been swinging so good, and I just had a feeling he was going to come up in a big situation. He came up after we had a – Two uh, two out hits in a row there with Doty and and uh, Cruz and I was like oh my gosh here's that situation I just had this vision that Cade Belosa was going to get into one but he was just a little bit late on the swing and flew out the left field if you to you know I just had a vision he was going to hit a three run homer there but it didn't happen for us and uh, you know we it's, we didn't have a lot of opportunities against him he you know we we had a lot of swings and misses on that slider tonight. Didn't have a lot of great opportunities. We had a chance here in the ninth inning, and, you know, Brody hit that ball real good, and their kid made an unbelievable play and started the double play. Um, you know, just a, another hard-fought, tough SEC game, you know. I think we had five hits. They had four. You know, there's there's just usually not a lot of hitting on Friday nights in the SEC because the pitching is so good. You know, Landon, Landon pitched his heart out. He had to work hard, you know, for everything that he did. And uh, I think he struck out six batters in the first three innings, um, pitched in the clutch. And then when you analyze the inning that he gave up two runs, you know, they, the kid hits a double barely inside the, the left field line. They ground out, good piece of hitting to move the runner to third base. Kid with two strikes, you know, he's one pitch away from striking the guy out in a critical situation. He probably missed his spot a little bit, and the kid was able to put the bat on the ball. Sanford came real close to making a tremendous catch. Um, would have still scored one run, but instead of it, you know, being a RBI single or a sacrifice fly, the ball gets through and the runner gets all the way to third base. You know, uh, Landon strikes the batter out, but we have a pass ball. And the runner scores. So really, it's a two to one game the whole game, and that's the only two runs they score until later in the game when they scratched one across. Um, we turned a nice double play to get out of the inning to keep it at three to one. We just couldn't muster enough offense tonight. So it was a you know hard fought game against a great ball club and they came out a little bit on top tonight. Paul, that's uh, you've talked about how, a few times now. You've, you've said you all have been, been able to muster enough offense. Is that something that's starting to trouble you or are you not? you know, too worried about it just yet because it's so early in the season and it's one game. Well, no, I'm concerned about it. You know, the games we've lost, you know, it seems like we've scored one run. But I'm, how many games have we lost now? Six, I think, on the season. I think we probably scored one run in four or five of those those losses. You know, the games we've won, we've scored, you know, five or more runs. So, you know, it's, it's not – hard to point at the reason why we've lost the games we've lost. You know, we just haven't been able to muster enough offense. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's troubling. Obviously, you know, um, doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. If you score runs, you win. If you don't score runs, you lose. So you just got to keep keep battling and trying to, you know, do better. Um, you know, tonight their, their pitcher just, except for the swing by Gavin Dugas, you know, just was better than us tonight. And Tomorrow is a new day, and we just got to come back out and, and try to, you know, do do better. Coach, that play in center um, that allowed the run to score, what were your thoughts on that? Well, I mean, it was going to be a run anyway, whether he it dropped and he played it as a single or whether he made the catch. Um, but obviously the second run scored because he, he just came up a little bit short. You know, Mitchell does the best he can. He's not a pure center fielder, you know. We thought Giovanni Di Giacomo would be our center fielder, but he's had this hamstring issue virtually since the second game of the year. So we've been without the guy that has the most range out there. The second best center fielder we have is Drew Bianco. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, he struggled offensively. So, you know, we, we thought Sanford would give us more offense than Bianco, but we'd sacrifice some range out there. You know, tonight we didn't get it offense and we sacrificed the range. So, you know, that's something we'll go back and evaluate. You know, tomorrow if I play Bianca, we'll have better range. But, you know, I don't know. Offensively, I mean, you, you like to think that 
that I don't know, maybe, maybe Drew will get into one tomorrow, you know, but I mean, you look at the numbers, he hasn't, you know, hit consistently. Mitchell has been better, but Mitchell didn't have a good night tonight, you know, so it's the way baseball is. You can never count on anybody to have a good night offensively. You know, it's, it's you know, like you've heard me say a million times, hitting's the hardest thing there is to, to predict on a given night. And that's kind of the dilemma that you got right now is you choose to go one way, it's going to bite you. And you choose to go the other way. It's going right. To bite you. Yeah. The, you can only get through that with trial and error, I would assume. Right. Well, the, the, you know, the total player, the five tool players don't come along very often in college. You know, this guy signed professionally most of the time. So, you know, we are fortunate to get a guy like Cruz who's a five tool player, but even Dylan, you know, doesn't have a great night every night offensively. You know, he's, you know, everybody's been wanting me to bat him third, and you, you can see when he bats third, they pitch it differently. He's, I don't know how many fastballs he's seen in these last two games that he's batting third. He did get a single today, but, you know, last Sunday, it was his first game he didn't reach base, and tonight he had a tough time. He did get one single, but, you know, when you lead off, they're going to challenge you more. When you bat three hole, they're going to throw you a lot of breaking balls and, and you know, give you much to hit, so – you're kind of taking the bat out of his hands when you bat him third because they're, you know, they're, they're making a lot of tough pitches to him, you know, so that's another thing that we're going to have to, I think, look at, you know, because when he, you know, when he's up to bat leading off, he's in scoring position at the bat in the batter's box, you know, they challenge him and he gets around on one. He, he hits one out, you know, you get a run that way. So anyway, we, we, we have to just look at it again and yeah, just try to come up with some answers, you know, it's frustrating you know, for everybody when you can't score runs and, you know, tonight wasn't, it was frustrating. I mean, you give, you tip your hat to their pitcher. He was really good. He did a good job for them and their reliever did a good job as well. But, you know, you, you know, you're going to face good arms every night in this league. So you get, you, you can't just tip your hat every night. You got to come up with answers and you got to be able to, you got to compete against the best pitchers in the country. It's just what the SEC is. Okay. Okay. Thanks coach. All right, guys, uh, thank you all for participating. And uh, we'll stay in touch. Thank you're the only one wearing a mask in that stadium tonight. Well, the, the rule, I heard, I heard the PA announcer say that uh, if whenever you were moving around, you had to wear a mask. Apparently, if you're uh -huh. sitting down, when you're sitting, you could you didn't have to wear a mask. Uh, I did. Yeah, yeah, we were watching the broadcast. They're like, there's not a mask in sight over there. Yeah, they said when entering and exiting the stadium or when moving around, but otherwise you could you didn't have to wear it. So that was the that was the rule, apparently. All right. Good luck tomorrow, buddy. Thank you all. Thanks, Ashley.